Think like a grandmaster in the tech world. In a game of chess, every move is critical, like the decisions of a chief technology officer every day. A grandmaster oversees the board, and the CTO oversees the technological landscape of the organization. The role of a CTO includes a mix of visionary leadership and pragmatic tech management. Our day starts with checking the status of technology operations, like a chess player going over our opponent's last moves. For me, this would include not only being in the loop, but also being completely aware of system performance, pending updates, and any technical issues that can't wait. If resources are stuck, it would immediately become my responsibility to unstuck them, unless it's the printer, in which case I'll just let it stay stuck. The morning might involve some meetings about strategic moves, just like the moves in a chess game. As the CTO, I would introduce relevant technical advancements. I needed to anticipate the needs of the business and align any tech initiatives accordingly. Just like a chess player would consider several strategies, a good CTO evaluates trends like AI, machine learning, blockchain, GPT for their potential to move the company forward ahead of the competition. Just like in that TV show, boldly going where no company has coded before. My afternoons are often dedicated to implementing strategies. This is where actions would happen. A CTO has to collaborate with different areas of the organization to ensure that the strategy integrates smoothly with those areas. For me, that would be sales, operations, marketing. For a chess player, it means pawns, knights, and rooks. In the end, all pieces have to work in unison to control the game. Like a family photo where no one likes each other, but everybody smiles for the camera. As my day would wound down, I reviewed the outcomes of those implemented strategies, just like analyzing the state of the chessboard, especially towards the end of the game. This could mean small changes in tech deployments or fixing surprises. A good CTO has the crucial ability to adapt, preferably instantly, to new data and adjust strategies. You need to look at your opponent's moves and counter those moves, expected or unexpected like a James Bond villain, but the only thing you're threatening is their market share. As a CTO, I often made critical decisions that affected the company's future, like authorizing a new project or recovering from a failing strategy. A chess master could make a game-winning move when you might have thought that the game was lost because in chess, every king's ransom is just a night away. Those people that knew me really well knew that I could always be found staring outside of my office window at the end of the day. I would be thinking on events, decisions, outcomes. You might have thought that I was doing nothing, but I was actually doing something critical. If you don't reflect on things, how can you learn and improve? It's crucial to stay ahead in this fast evolving tech sector. If you remember nothing else, remember this. Chess and technology are fields of endless learning and strategic depth. Stay curious. Be proactive. Keep thinking about your next move. Your opponents are. Got ideas for future content? Drop them in the comments.